Okay, started the fire. We're gonna have a little braai. Good day world and welcome back to Stuff We Do, where we do all the knife stuff you love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications and outdoor stuff with knives. If somebody's going to in front of my gate, I will lose it. Okay, um, we spoke about this knife in the previous video. Okay, and I did get it from the knife guy. Um, also the scales. Now, I bought this stuff because I want to give it a very nice festive looking look. We're going to the ocean type of lanyard. But I think that's going to be too plain because I cannot really do lanyards. I want to make a bead. Now, in a previous video, I did show you how I made a bead using this stuff. But now we're going to do it. But I think we're going to take a little bit of this stuff. At some stage, I was making knife scales and things or trying to with resin and whatnot. Now I have lots of these chunks left. So I think I'm going to take a piece like that. But first, let me see what's going on at my gate. Okay, so I just sawed off a little chunk like this with my hacksaw. And this is just resin with wood in there, I think. I cannot remember. And blue um, watercolor, dried watercolor paint that I chucked in there. I'm going to take my four in hand and I'm going to take this thing. And we're going to move to the drill press. Okay, I have too few ants to do this better. Okay, I have my little chunk in there. I'm going to try to do it like that without it splitting. I have a fat wood drill over there. And then, let's see how this works. Okay, I don't know if I showed you this. Okay, we made it all the way through this thing without cracking it. So I'm very happy about that. Now I'm just going to chuck it on here. And I'm not sure how. Maybe put some tape on there. And then I'm going to use my... Um, file on this thing as a improvised lathe. Okay, our fire is extremely hot still, but it's getting there. Okay, let's see if this will work. No, it's not going to because I need to get it on there a bit tighter. Okay, that plan pretty much did not work. So I'm taking this thing in my hand now and just standing it like this, trying to get a bead shape out of it. Yes. Okay, let's do some cleanup on this thing. You should actually be wearing all kinds of safety things. Um, but I am a professional, but don't do this at home. Okay, I don't know if I showed you this, but I used that thing with some red compound. And now we have a bead, and it looks like that. So let's go put it on something. Okay, so let's do this thing. Take a piece of paracord about yay long. That was the stubby. If you have not seen the review on that thing, also go check that out. And then we are not going to do anything fancy because I am not good with fancy. Then we're going to make one overhand knot. I really hope I took a long enough piece. Now I'll just make sure it can go down a bit. We're going to put this through there. I should have burned it first. I did not because I was in a hurry and it's going to be too short. Okay, so I'll bring you back once I did that. Okay, this time I gutted the paracord because I think... Thinner should be better and always spit on your fingers before touching warm paracord. Okay, let's shove this thing through there. Nice. Oh, I wanted to make a knot first. I suppose it's better to close the knife while you are busy. Chances of you cutting off parts that might be important in life, but less. Where's that thing now? Put it like that, make another one, snake heads or snake head knots, whatever. I tried a, a video on it, I think I, yes, yeah, a few years ago, I did a, do a video on Cobra, no, snake head knots. Um, 
Okay, we want a bit of tail, just so it looks cool, but not too much. Okay, I don't know why my stubby is all of a sudden so dull. Okay, there we go. Chuck that away. Also did a review on this thing. Marvelous little thing and extremely inexpensive. I think I paid, I don't know, go to Tactical, the Quartermaster. They sell those things. There we go. Get them to join and look at this. Isn't that just wonderful? Okay, so there we go. We have our awesomely, I'm taking my knife to the beach look going over here. On an awesome knife, nice lanyard. All of you, I'm going to bry now. Follow along. Okay, so we are going to do some let's cook bry roasties, cheese and onion. Okay, so it's like, yes, cheese and onion bready things. We're going to use this guy with its sexy lanyard to open everything. And then we're also going to be doing some sausages, pork, chipulatas, and some, I'm gonna kill a dog, not really, I love dogs, anyway it's lamb, riblets, we're gonna do that, okay, and on the fire we have our braai broikies, or whatever else they want to call it, with the cheese and onion inside, okay, so I'm just waiting for them to heat up and get some color, then they're going off, because the fire is way too hot to actually braai it, Okay, these little things are more like candy than actual food because there's not a lot of meat on them. But oh my goodness, are they delicious. No. Okay, first in. Mm -mm, delicious. Okay, riblets are going. I want them to go slow so some of the fat can cook out and well render and become more crispy. And then I have my weird pork sausages in the middle. Mm -mm -mm, delicious. Okay, these things are not done, but they're getting there. These things look fantastic. I feel pretty much done. I'm not going to show you anything else. Enjoy the rest of your day. All of you stay safe, happy, and have a good one. Goodbye. Okay, if you have made it till the end of this video, you are my favorite. Please tell all your friends and family to also watch this and then hear me say that you are my favorite. Um, do the thumbs up, all of those good things. Oh, thank you very much. I'm at 4,500 subscribers. Never in a million years would have thought that would have happened. But all of you, stay safe, happy, and have a good one. And I hope you're already feeling the Christmas spirit. Goodbye.